Did you know that the average person reads 1.5 books yearly? While an average top CEO reads over 50 books, they do this to maintain a competitive edge in the game and find new ideas that can improve both their lifestyles and companies. Welcome to Insight Booth. In addition to being one of the wealthiest men in the world, Bill Gates is a great reader. It seems that Gates has already achieved everything to calm down and stop being so smart for a second, but he still believes in the power of reading and states that it has been a key to his success. The Microsoft founder does not abandon books, even if he's not enjoying them. He believes that no matter how lousy a book is, it will always give you something positive. This time, we're looking at the books multi-billionaire Bill Gates thinks everyone should read because they had such an incredible impact on his journey. Although Gates usually shares the top 10 books he's read in a year, I picked the best of the best. So if you want to learn where Bill's great ideas come from, just start picking up some of these books. I believe number five is a game changer, so make sure to watch until the end. 10. The Code Breaker, Walter Isaacson. In 2020, American biochemist Jennifer Doudna got the Nobel Prize in Chemistry for the development of a method for gene editing, together with the French scientist Amenyel Charpentier. Known as CRISPR, Clustered Regulatory Interspaced Short Palindromatic Repeat, this method allows the modification of the genomes of plants, animals, and even humans. It has a huge potential to cure diseases, but also has moral implications. The creation of CRISPR is considered by many to be the most vital of the last century. In this book, Walter Isaacson shares the story of Dodna and her dream of being a scientist, even though, at some point, a school teacher warned her that there was no place for girls in science. But it's more than a biography. It's the story of CRISPR development and its importance in a world that can be hit by a mysterious virus any day. We learned it the hard way. Here's what Bill Gates says about the Code Breakers. The Code Breakers is very accessible to non-scientists, and that's very important because the ethics of using CRISPR is unclear. Doudna now focuses much of her time on moral and ethical questions, especially the possible gene editing that has exasperated inequality. As he tells Isaacson, if you think we face inequalities now, imagine what it would be like if society were genetically divided into economic levels and we were transcribed our financial inequality into our genetic code. 9. Making the Modern World by Vaclav Schmiel. This is a fascinating book about how our civilization is shifting and using resources. Making the Modern World looks at how China is rising, while countries in Asia are still in their early stages of development. These countries will be the first to experience a boom in almost every sector imaginable. Chinese miracle is indeed unbelievable. China has used more cement in the last three years than the United States did during the previous 100 years. Chinese consumers now buy more luxury products than the rest of the world, and this is just the beginning. Reading this type of book will help you understand macro trends and allows you to prepare for what's happening next. You will understand why this is happening, what effects it will have, and how to be ready for it. 8. How the World Really Works by Vaclav Schmiel Gates named Schmiel as his favorite author. No wonder we will see him twice on the list. In this book, Schmiel, the acknowledged Canadian environmental economist, explains seven phenomena determining human survivability and effectiveness in a global, information-driven economy. The book summarizes Schmiel's studies of the world's agriculture, energy, and production networks, and their connections to how society works and its impact on the environment. Gates says this book is an excellent introduction for those who wish to learn about the forces shaping human life. He also praises the book's findings on economics and climate change being connected to data, adding that although Vaclav has strong opinions on many subjects, he avoids extremes. 7. Clara and the Sun, Kasuo Ishiguro the latest work of the Nobel Prize for Literature, Kasuo Ishiguro, tells the story of Clara, an artificial friend who arrives at the home of Josie, a young woman with a strange disease. Trying to accomplish the mission for which Clara was programmed, she will do everything in her power to follow her owner and make her days more bearable, convinced that the sun with its light can help her heal. A novel with a children's book structure, but with a depth worthy of a Nobel Prize winner. Here's what Bill Gates says about it. While reading the book, I couldn't help but wonder which parts paint a picture of our near future and which parts are pure fiction. I believe we will one day have utility and companion robots in our lives. Clara is primarily a companion. It doesn't do much of what you'd expect from a utility robot, like bring you things or prepare food. Her purpose is almost entirely social. While I don't know if we'll ever have emotionally sophisticated robots like her, we may see some pretty good companion robots emerge over the next decade. 6. A Gentleman in Moscow, Amor Tolls Although Gates reads a lot more nonfiction than fiction, he isn't profoundly moved by a novel now and again. 
After all, he has three nonfiction books on his list. The story about a Russian court sentenced to 30 years of house arrest in a hotel by the Bolsheviks brought Gates to tears. A Gentleman in Moscow is an amazing story because it manages to be a little bit of everything. There's fantastical romance, politics, espionage, parenthood, and poetry, he shares, suggesting it not just for those interested in Russian history, but for everyone who likes a well-written, good story. 5. Why We're Polarized Ezra Klein Gates says a person's political views can be linked with their taste in card games. For all I know, we could be like oil and water once we start talking, but we both love bridge, making me more likely to connect with someone. This is the latest book by a columnist and podcast host at the New York Times, Ezra Klein. This book outlines the psychological aspects of group mentality that define American politics today. At the forefront of polarization is a political identity which over the past 50 years has integrated with racial, regional, and ideological identities that impact the political institutions in place. The book incorporates data showing trends across state borders, within parties, and throughout generations. It describes the changes in the country's political and information systems that have led many rationally thinking individuals to become tug-of-war players. Gates says this book is essential to understanding what's going on with politics in the U.S. today. 4. Project Hail Mary Andy Weir, an astronaut, Rylan Grace, wakes up from a long sleep aboard a spaceship. His two partners have died, and his memories are hazy. Grace deciphers the mystery of his memories and discovers that he's on a mission thousands of kilometers from Earth. He must succeed in saving the human species. A science fiction novel from the Martian author Bill Gates also puts off the list of his favorite books. I found parts of the story, like how Ryland is chosen and how powerful the United Nations task force is that organizes the mission, to be unbelievable. However, they didn't bother me. Science fiction has a lot of freedom to evoke things. It's hard to be too distracted by something implausible when reading a story about a giant space spider. I recommend the book to anyone in the mood for something entertaining. I started it on a Saturday and finished it on a Sunday, which was a great way to spend a weekend. Even if you're not a big fan of science fiction, Project Hail Mary is an excellent story about two friends who use science and engineering to save the day. 3. The Lincoln Highway, Amor Tolls. Gates loves fiction author Tolls, saying he's not a one-trick pony. Like all the best storytellers, he has range. The author of A Gentleman in Moscow, Tolls, takes on an epic journey set in 1954 along the namesake highway. The character Emmett returns home to Nebraska with his eight-year-old brother Billy after 15 months of juvenile farm labor for involuntary manslaughter. Their father had died and their mother had left them years ago. The brothers want to drive west to California to start a new life, but two of Emmett's friends from the working farm, Duchess and Wooly, join them and force Emmett and Billy east to New York. Gates likes that the Lincoln Highway was well-developed, solid, and caring characters, especially Billy and the brother's neighbor Sally. The book is presented from multiple points of view, and Gates says that personal journeys are never as linear or predictable as an interstate highway. 2. Numbers Don't Lie, 71 Things You Need to Know About the World by Vaclav Schmiel. Gates recommends this book by his favorite author because he says it's for everyone. It's a collection of thought-provoking facts presented in one or two-page chapters. Schmiel discusses the questions like whether your car or your phone is worse for the environment and how humans develop big brains. Spoiler, he credits our unique ability to sweat that allowed early humans to hunt longer and eat more protein. Also, how much of the world's cows collectively weigh. Spoiler, more than any other animal on the planet. Schmiel also looks clear-eyed at how challenging it will be to quickly pull the world away from fossil fuels to address climate change. He says it would be extremely difficult to limit global warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius, the most ambitious goal in the Paris Climate Agreement. That is not impossible, but it is implausible. Reaching that goal would require nothing short of a fundamental transformation of the global economy on scales, and at speed unprecedented in human history, a task that would be impossible without major economic and social dislocations. Gates is aware of the enormous challenge of making the necessary climate transition, but he's also an optimist and a believer in the power of new technology to solve problems, plus a significant investor in climate tech. He believes Smeal's approach of questioning everything helps him stay grounded. As someone who tends to be optimistic about technology, maybe even too optimistic at times, I appreciate how his natural skepticism about the future innovation keeps my outlook realistic. 1. The Heart by East Dukerengel Gates says Heart is one of his favorites. It's a novel about the untimely death of a young man 
and his family's decision to donate his heart. It's poetry disguised as a novel. At times, I found myself reading more slowly than usual, simply because the way she describes things is so beautiful. The book forced him to reconsider the depth of a grief of parents who have lost a child, a situation he encounters during his philanthropic work. But what do you think? Have you read a book from this list? Leave your opinion in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you don't miss an upload and you can enjoy the excellent content I send your way.